coming back once again, thanking the Lord for so much, giving him all the glory, honor, and praise, and giving a great shout out from the YouTube family, from Papa JT all the way down to Baby Brother Justice. And as we say, many man, we love you. Ain't nothing you can do about it. I gotta say it's been one great day, man. I've just been rejoicing and just feel so good. And uh, you know, many man, I was thinking about your video once again, and, and it made me think about the little classes we are going through as we read the book called The Measure of a Man by Gene A. Getz. And this book is so powerful. I love it because it makes you check yourself as a man. And it's compared with scriptures like Paul and, and Paul and Timothy, kind of like a father and son thing. And it's actually the guy's using experiences in his own life also. But the topic we stuck on this morning was how do other people, how do other people view you? And I got to say, bro, we kept it all the way real as we know how. And me and my pastor had a nice conversation in the middle of the class. Because when he got to me and asked me about how do I think others measure me and, and look at me. And I told him, my answer is going to be a little different than everybody else. Because I said, I don't care how others look at me. And pastor looked at me kind of weird and said, well, why would you say that? And I told Pastor Laurent, I said, you know why? Because what I have learned in my life, people going to say and think what they want about you anyway. Whether you're doing good or bad. And he said, I've never looked at it like that. And I said, and another reason I got a problem with that, worrying about how folks think about me, I said, because we always talking about scriptures on judging. It's a lot of scriptures on how not to judge, but we overlook the scripture when Jesus, I believe it was in the book of John when he said, you judge, you judge righteously, you judge spiritually. So in other words, you do judge. And one thing I can't understand is why Christian folks got a hard time judging Christian folks when we should all be able to check each other. Just like Paul checked Peter when Peter was hanging with the Gentiles. See, the Gentiles lived any kind of way and was doing any kind of thing. And Peter said, Paul was telling Peter, why are you sitting over here with these Gentiles? Y'all remember that video I did when Paul checked Peter? And as Christian folks, we supposed to judge each other spiritually, righteously, with a spiritual judgment. And once I said that, my pastor said, you know what? Good point. I said, yes, we overlook certain scriptures. People don't, see, only, some people only want to pick a scripture that's so good to them. Just like I tell folks, you can't tell me all about the New Testament if you ain't went through the old. See, I like to know where I'm coming from to know where I'm going. And folks do always, when you try to tell them you wrong, man, especially in church. Then the Bible also teaches us when you got a problem with that individual, you go to that individual and try to gain them back. Then you grab two or three witnesses. This is how it's supposed to be in church. We already know what goes down in the world. So how do others look at you? It don't matter to me. So I'm just going to be real. It don't bother me. I told them that's a question that I can just really throw out the door. But this is just me in my opinion and in my life. Somebody might not agree with this. Because the problem is that I see so many people spending so much time trying to please folks. And they ain't trying to please God. They not trying to please God. This is why a lot of folks can't praise God. This is a lot of reasons why preachers can't preach like they need. Some people preaching just for a show. Some people singing just for somebody to stand up and start giving them all the glory. Somebody on the instrument is trying to magnify their own name. I'm not worried about pleasing others. Because I found out when I was doing good, and when I think I be doing good, everybody that I know around me think it's bad. Because the way I live my life, I don't agree with most people I'm around. Especially when you hang when you when you see holding down folks, a holding down folk can see me walking in the liquor store, you know what they're gonna do? They're gonna put me in the hell. They can say they can see me drinking the burr, and you know what they're gonna do? Put me in the hell. They can see me drinking some wine and they're gonna put me in the hell. That's why I don't care nothing about them folks. I love them. I pray for them. I'm not saying I don't care about them because I want something to happen to them. No, I love them, but I'm not worried about what folks think about me. People have made judgments on me from the wrong thing and pretty much all of my life. When I got charged with rape, that was one of the worst things I ever went through in my life. 
why I couldn't get no job. I had to worry about the police checking on me once a month at my own house. Why my neighbors looking at the police coming up to me. Why my own neighbors calling me rapists and want to know who I have raped. And I, was, I ain't raped nobody. See, I'm not worried about folks. What they think about me. Church folks see you doing the will of God and they still got a problem with it. Some folks just ain't never satisfied. So my question to the YouTube family, how many of y'all worry about what folks think about you? Do you really care? Now I know it's the way we supposed to be because we are Christians and we supposed to be christ like But people always keep forgetting this. Christ was in the flesh. When he called him a Pharisee, he called him a Pharisee. When he called him a hypocrite, he called him a hypocrite. He called him scribes. He called it what it was. You vipers. Christ didn't bite his tongue. And see, I have a hard problem dealing with folks who think they all let. And they think they can't be checked. Christian folks need to check Christian folks. That's why I speak like I speak on her. Somebody going to say, well, you, I'm judging righteously. I sure am. If I see somebody putting a homosexual in the music department or a homosexual over some children, a youth department, yes, I'm going to stand bold on that. That's judging spiritually and righteously. You know you don't have no business doing that. If I see musicians horning around with the praise team, yes, I'm going to tell the truth. You ain't got no business horning around with the praise team. If I see these preachers in the pulpit standing begging for money, yes, I'm going to tell them they wrong. I don't care what your title is. If more folks would stand up and tell, if we could be real Christians like Mitty Man was just saying in his video, where are the real Christians at? Excuse me. See, I don't have no problem with Mitty Man if he checked me. I don't have no problem Papa JT checked me. I don't have no problem if K-Ray checked me, PP Drawings check me, I-Rock check me, the YouTube family check me. Because if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I need to be corrected. The problem is, how are you not being corrected by the Holy Spirit? See, folks ain't a lot of folks ain't got no God in them, man. They faking the fault. Old school's word. They they faking the fault. They ain't real. Those Pharisees, they ain't just like those Pharisees. So we gotta remember that scripture. The Bible do say, judge righteously. That's why God looks at our heart, not our outside of what we got on. But we, we judge. Look how we judge. Oh, you can't wear no hat in my church. You can't wear no pants in my church. What kind of judgment is this? We more concerned about what somebody got on than what's in their heart. You can't do this over here. You can't do that. We got all these rules and regulations to keep folks out of the church. That's why I judge spiritually. Just like I want somebody to check the hell out of me if I'm wrong. And I'm going to tell you, thank you. Because we do get caught up in this fleshly body and we get caught up in our own thoughts sometimes, whether we want to admit it or not. I told my pastor, man, I, man I've been cussing out folks all my life. I told my pastor in front of everybody. I said, that's something I had to pray on very hard. And I said, pastor, I'm still not there. Let somebody do something to me, I still might let a word slip out. I say, we forget, Pastor, that God works on us differently because my problem ain't your problem, Pastor. Your problem ain't the next man, Pastor. So we got to remember, you ain't changing overnight. Oh, man. See, I deal with these knuckleheads around here. I deal with these streets. These folks ain't understanding this King James Bible. So what you saying, JT? You be out there cussing everybody out? No, I'm saying I talk to them in a language where they understand. I ain't finna go out on the street and start speaking in tongue, all that stuff. I ain't gonna look at me like I'm crazy. I'm gonna look at me like I'm crazy because I don't know what I'm saying. I'm not finna go out there quoting them scriptures and, and acting all saved and sanctified. And, no, because one thing about, like I just said in the last video, your, your spiritual behavior. Your behavior is your character. You ain't got to walk around boasting and bragging, oh, I'm a Christian. Your behavior will show that. But most problem is, the, the biggest problem is people saying they all holy, and they ain't holy. They hoish. They thuggish. They crazy. They judgmental in a bad way. 
But they call themselves holier than thou, and oh, I'm so sanctified and filled with the Spirit. Man, ain't, you ain't filled with nothing but your own mess. If you were so holy, so sanctified and all that, why you got to get on your knees and repent every night, if you repent at all? See, some folks think they done already made it into heaven. So how folks look at me, I ain't too much worried about it. Because I'm trying to please God. Not man, not woman. I ain't trying to please my mama. I ain't trying to please my daddy. I ain't trying to please my brother. I ain't trying to please nobody but God. They know that. Pop, you sure know that. You think my pop, you think Papa JT sitting around worrying about what folks say and think about him? See, one thing you don't want to do is sit down with Pop and let him keep it real, because he's going to keep it real. He'll make you leave the house. Because Pop don't ball who it, he don't care who it is. He going to stay. If it's a preacher walking the door, he'll make a preacher leave. He'll tell that preacher he ain't, he, he ain't all that like he think he is. See, I learned one thing. When you keep it real, folks don't want to sit around you. They don't. Most people want you to tell them they all right when they ain't all right. They want you to agree with them and their sins. But see, I can't do that. I don't want the Holy Spirit convicting me for going along with your mess. Just like I don't want to go along with my own mess. I told y'all, I got to look in the mirror and face self. I got a hard enough time dealing with myself. I ain't got time to be dealing with somebody else and their problems. Because we all working on something. We all striving to get better and better every day. But it looks like more Christians are getting worse and worse every day. How do others view you? And do you care? Really? Do you care? Y'all know my intake on it. This is how I feel. This is how I am. And this is how I'm going to forever be. When God told me to be bold, because he told me what I was against, and I look at what he was against and how we suffer for his name's sake. When I look at them apostles, how, oh man, how people gave their life for Christ. And we sit up here and we can't do little simple stuff. So I don't want to be in that category with everybody else. I want to be on the good side. I don't want to make God angry. I don't want to be that musician hoeing around like some of these other ones are doing and running these women in these churches. I don't want to be that minister of music with the bad reputation. I want people to say that, okay, he was all right. Because you have a hard enough time dealing with yourself. But with that being said, also, I'm not worried about what folks say about me. They're going to say what they want. I remember one time when I was in jail behind a ticket. This old man said, you know what, son? He said, when you do good, Harley, don't nobody remember you. He said, but if you do something bad, don't nobody forget you. He said, seem like your bad I always going to outweigh your good. And I said, old oh, man, I hope you ain't right with that, man. But I failed what he said. And it seemed like he was right. Because I find out the more things I think I do good, seemed like, what did Paul say? Every time I try to do good, evil is always present. So with that being said, love everybody. Do you, view, do you worry about how others view you? Do you really care? to an extent or do you just don't care at all. God bless you and God keep you.